Hi everybody, Lori here for Pink Fresh Studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Stamping Village video hop and we are featuring the brand new Happy Birthday collaboration stamp set. So 12 different stamp companies have come together, collaborated to create this birthday themed set. Each company has their own design. Here's Pink Fresh Studios right here, which is what I'm gonna be featuring on my projects. So to get started, I'm gonna be stamping this adorable little cake plate, and I am using this Misty Coast Light Gray Ink by Pink Fresh Studio. These are all uh, Pink Fresh Studio inks above me. I'm using the lightest shades and all the colors, and I'm stamping just a bunch of cake plates. I'm kind of staggering them. I'm creating like almost like a pattern paper and doing what I like to call free range stamping, just using an acrylic block, like old school, kicking it old school. I, I normally only ever stamp with my Misty anymore, but I knew I wanted to stamp so many colors that I just had to go with the acrylic block. I do wanna mention that $5 from every stamp set sold benefits the Dreaming Zebra Foundation, and they believe in art education. And so they supply organizations and schools with free art and music materials. So not only are you getting a cool stamp set that is a collaboration, but you're also supporting the arts. So what I'm doing now is topping off each cake with this teeny little flower. And what I did was I took the next shade darker of ink for each color. The Pink Fresh Studio inks have four shades to every color. I love that feature because you get four shades. I love a gradient. I love a great, and this little flower gives a nice little pop of vibrancy. And then I'm taking Fresh Pear, which is the lightest green, and stamping this little tiny leaf on the side of each flower. Now, if you had to choose, which cake would you pick? I know mine would be the mint cake. Hopefully it had mint flavor. But for the sentiment, I'm using the classic words die set. I'm gonna be using the hooray word, which I'm die cutting out of gold metallic cardstock, and then the outline out of vellum. I also went ahead and did three out of white cardstock. That way I could stack them up and give my hooray some dimension. So I'm using Tombow Mono liquid adhesive to adhere these together. Once I get the three white ones adhered together, I top it off with the gold, and then I flip it over, add some more adhesive, and pop it on the vellum. Then I added thin little slivers. This was a pain, I'm not gonna lie, right behind the letters. I didn't cover it completely, just here and there, that way I could pop it up. I also popped up the panel onto a cream card base. And here is the grand finale. I adhered some of these crystals in the center of each flower. Can I just say the Studio Katia embellishment wand works like a charm. Now these crystals, no pun intended, but they take the cake. I mean, they're so yummy. You want to eat them, but you can't but it adds that great rainbow bling. So now we're moving on to the second card. I have some of this pattern paper from the My Favorite Story pattern paper, pattern paper, pattern, Peter Peck to Pickle Pepper. Uh, anyway, the blue pattern paper, and then I use one of these tag dies from the fillable tag with pocket die set. I've got a simple little white tag. I'm gonna stamp the cake stand in mint, and then I'm gonna create a layered cake. So I'm doing yellow, orange, and pink. First I stamp the yellow, then I move the cake up about halfway, I stamp it over the yellow. You can kind of see how it overlaps, which I love overlap. Then the top one with pink, again, halfway up, and then it creates a three layer cake. Oh yes, and then I did another flower with that darker shade of pink, and of course I added the leaf. See how it takes longer with the Misty, but when you wanna get precision, go for the Misty. And then for that cute little sentiment, I stamped that with black ink. This tag is finished, so I'm popping up my blue pattern paper, popping up the tag, and then I'm gonna create a bow. So I'm using this partial cut bouquet and a bow die set. I'm creating a gold glittered bow. I popped that on top, and then I took some extra little a uh, strip of gold pattern paper and adhered it down on the bottom. I also added a few more of those crystals here and there because I just can't stop with them. And these cards are finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and check out the rest of the Stamping Village video hop. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.
Join the Pink Fresh community today and subscribe to our channel as we make beautiful creations together.